taught y'all that it takes three years to get over one man who's already got over you in your own relationship I will say this me and pranks I do sometimes notice that I blank out a little too hard y'all are probably used to watching stage pranks when you get real reactions you are liable to get anything caught on camera stop going in on me it's Sunday and I don't feel like singing or making up a song so happy Sunday be blessed self pamper and love day peace bitch What's good, PGC squad? It's your favorite beauty with no booty. And today, honey, I'm spilling all my dirty laundry. I'm talking about all the tea. We're going to get into it. Um, Y'all didn't see the title, so y'all probably know what this is about. But I'm really just going to have a sit down. Honestly, today is like self-pampering Sunday. It's Sunday. It's a real chill day. I got my PJs on that I got from Walmart. Shout out to Walmart. So I got this. And I got this. Boom, bow. I had a sleepover and I had to get matching pajamas. That's where we also got our uh, Mumu from. I think that's what it's called, a Mumu. I think it was called, whatever. But the night that me, Carmen, Fruit, and Ali was together, that's where we got in from. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm about to spill all the dirty laundry while giving myself a face mask and just doing some self pampering. This is gonna be a detoxing day. So without further ado, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment hashtag PGC Talks in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel for future content like this. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video, my PGC squad. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I'll be using the bonafide dream on um, face hydro mask and this one is the illuminating orange peel off mask pillable hydro jelly mask with electrolytes y'all um as y'all know i did a video before using her products with dc and we did a face mask and when i tell you afterwards our skin felt so freaking good so my skin is already washed dang i put shea butter on it though so we really about to get into some things um the first thing I want to talk about is my new friend, Tori. Dang, dang. So, um, I met Tori through Prime down at my pool. And ever since then, we just kind of clicked. The chemistry is amazing because one thing about me, I would say this. I think y'all shit me with a lot of people because when y'all see me working with girls, I'm unproblematic. But of course, y'all not going to shit me with a girl. E as a girl, I just, I can vibe with anybody. If you're a genuine, you have a great personality, I can vibe with you. Put me in a room full of people nine times out of 10, at least eight out of 10 of the people in the room is going to like me. That's just my personality. Me and Tori, we're just friends. I literally just met this man like two weeks ago. So there's nothing that we could possibly know about each other that can make each other think that we like each other other than the fact that I'm attractive, he's attractive, that's that, right? Okay, cool. So just to clear things up, I'm not with Tori. Um, honestly, since I've been on YouTube, I have not been in any relationships. I've always been single. So that's that. Um, moving on, I've been seeing comments about people saying, you know, I move on too quick. I don't give myself time to heal. I don't know who the hell, no offense, taught y'all that it takes three years to get over one man who's already got over you in your own relationship. But that ain't me. Okay, I feel like once a guy stops, once a guy closes that chapter and lets me know it's done, I'm moving on. But there is nothing normal about grieving over somebody who did you wrong or didn't want to be for you for months. That's crazy as ever. Don't get me wrong. If that's what you need to do, then all by means do that. But I would not dare sit around moping over somebody who, who didn't see that. <laughs> bring this closer because I don't think y'all see me do you see me like look at me I look like a fucking sun I look like a I look like a dandelion a sunflower whatever whatever the flowers are called and you think I'm gonna sit around and be hurt over somebody no I'm going to move on make friends that's just how it goes I don't know I feel like in this society women are taught that you know, it's okay for a guy to, you know, talk to different people and move on quick and heal himself because that's just a man mindset. But us women, we're supposed to mope around and be hurt over the same man who did us wrong. Why am I hurt over you? It should be the other way around, if anything, correct? I just really want to drop some gems on y'all young queens. Don't be that girl. I was that girl. I was in a relationship getting cheated on the entire year and it took me like at least two years to get over the guy. And I remember it came to a point where it was just like, why am I hurting over him when it should be the other? I didn't look, I didn't do him wrong. So why am I hurting? 
girl but yeah i'm not i don't i don't mope around i feel like you know y'all younger kids y'all in a generation where y'all feel like you know you're supposed to sit around and be upset over a man but one thing about me no mm -mm. i have my two three two three week i honestly a week a week to two weeks is how much i give myself um when i was going through i was going through i gave myself probably like two weeks and after that I was like, okay, so she gotta snap back. Why are you still hurt? Why are you still crying? Why are you still upset? It's time to move on. Clearly, like, but the thing that makes me upset is when a guy do it, it's okay. Now don't get me wrong. If I start talking to a dude on Tuesday and y'all see me talking to somebody on Friday, then yes, that's an issue. That's a huge issue. Cause then at that point, it seems like you're trying to cope with something else. You're just trying to jump from guy to guy cause you don't want to deal with the last guy. Cool, trust me, that's an issue. But if y'all see me start talking to a guy on the 20th and by the 31st you see me hanging out with a dude there's nothing wrong with that at all there's nothing wrong with that so please stop going in on me please and then i want to talk about me being an abusive person because i am you know i am i'm not gonna lie about that i'm pretty abusive um but i will say this and i want y'all to think about this and still on this the last prank was done on me was Tori. He got caught in the shower with my sister. People were commenting like, oh, Chaz just mad because, you know, she likes him. I just met Tori. Once again, there's nothing for me to like about him other than the fact that we have great, we have great chemistry so far because you can have great chemistry with anybody in the beginning. In the beginning, everything is easy. Chaz is jealous and then they're like, oh, she's spazzing. I will say this, me and Prakes, I do sometimes notice that I blank out a little too hard. And for that, I am working on myself. You know, that was a wake up call. I do need to work on myself, but let me ask y'all this. Y'all are probably used to watching stage pranks. I'm gonna keep that shit a band. When you get real reactions, you are liable to get anything caught on camera, anything, especially when it comes to disrespecting somebody where they lay their head at. Now for the people that's just like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't understand why coming to somebody else's house and hopping your ass in a shower to have sex without consulting them is an issue, you're bugging. Last time I checked, I paid for the bill, the water bill, the light bill. When you put in on any of them bills, then you can make a decision in this house. Okay? But it's till then. Okay, it's till then. Uh -uh. And more so, let me get this. Let me. I walk into my apartment to a guy that I met about two weeks ago and decided to get in my shower to have sex with my sister. That's a major issue. And for those who don't see nothing wrong with that, I really can't convince you otherwise because me saying that alone, if I, I mean, like, imagine your mama walking. I mean, that's your mom, so of course she'd be upset because you just having sex. But still, imagine you, you know, you are your mom walking in and you having sex in her shower. You must got your damn mind. So yeah, I definitely did kind of like blank out. But once again, these are real reactions, real pranks. You're liable to get anything. I will say, I gotta stop being so aggressive. You know, I'm being very transparent with y'all. Y'all are my PGC squad, so I feel like I can talk to y'all about anything. I definitely gotta be, I definitely gotta stop being so aggressive, but it's just like, how? Truthfully, anybody who do pranks on me, I feel like they seen me in action before. They seen what I can do, so it's just like, why play with that fire too, you know what I'm saying? Now Tori, Tori like that shit. I don't care what bitch I say, Tori. Watch the prank, the whole entire prank. He like, hit me again, yeah, hit me again. He, hit me again, no, hit me again, hit me again. He liked, honestly, anybody in the past, they do too, trust me, I know. But, and there's no excuse, because I don't want to promote violence, okay? But one thing about it, I grew up in a, I grew up on the west side of Charlotte, North Carolina. So there's been bullets raining at parks. I grew up with street, street play fight with them. We out there, We this is when kids was actually playing outside still, going into fields and play fighting and stuff. That was me and my cousins growing up. So, it's like, you know, when it comes to that drama stuff, I'm not gonna argue. Which is why on the tube house, not trying to be funny, but when have you ever really seen me in my own personal drama? Anytime that I stepped into some drama, it was to break break a fight up between my friend or have her back. Because once again, from the hood, if your friend is about to get into a fight and she's against two other people, you fall in line. And even to this day, the people in the tube house, I'm pretty much cool with everybody on the tube house except one person. And that one person, y'all pretty much know who they is. And I still wish them the best of luck because it was a time that I actually called this person brother. And unlike most people, if I fuck with you before, I'm not going to blatantly disrespect you. 
I might go around and you know not speak on you or you know just saying like it's, it's, it's a couple of people that I could have really aired out their dirty laundry for the dirty shit they did to me which I'm pretty sure y'all know who I'm talking about I would say this I respect I respect you know flame on for what the opportunity that was presented to me and anything that we've been through i squashed that is done for but at the moment i was still mad about the situation or i was still mad about just certain shit that i was being told we squashed it we're good as far as the other person who's 31 years old still speaking on a 21 year old and you called me your sister and you said you love me why the thing is with this youtube stuff it's so capped out that y'all forget behind these behind these cameras y'all can get touched in real life not trying to be funny but you can't keep speaking on somebody child somebody daughter don't think nothing's going to happen which relates back to pranks you can't do certain pranks and don't expect certain reactions you're in somebody's household you can't disrespect where they lay at even when i did the call in the shower prank with fruit i don't know if y'all remember i did the call in the shower prank with slim i let fruit in you want to know why because i'm like okay my friend she bought that life she'll fall in line with that action I'm gonna let her know beforehand because I don't want none of that, you know, I don't want her to feel like she gotta put herself in a position where she gotta beat me up. There's never not really one prank on my channel where people will feel like they really have to beat me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really did like no caught in the bed pranks on my channel. Now, on other people's channel, of course I did it. And even when I did it, like even when I did the caught in the bed prank with um, Corey, the whole time y'all, I'm sitting in the bed scared like, bruh, Carmen about to beat our ass. I already know, Carmen about to knock us out. Carmen, you wanna know why? Because my friend don't play that. But y'all probably so used to seeing those, and, and, and look what happened in that prank. Who got their ponytail snatched? Who got water thrown on us? Exactly, y'all probably so used to seeing these stage pranks where people got time to think about what they are gonna say, how they are gonna do it, and not make themselves look crazy. When you got real raw reactions, real raw reactions, baby, honey, anything is liable to happen however i will say me becoming an older girl or growing up you know becoming i guess like i'm like a public figure now i i don't know like what the fuck i'm i'm new here i'm just winging it honestly but i guess now that since people are watching me more i do have to show a better example and there's other ways that you can resolve violence but it's just like damn like that's all i know i don't talk there's no need to talk there's no need to go back and forth because at the end of the day, you're going to go back and forth and end up in a fight or not in a fight. And it's just like, well, what was the point? Now we can have, a, I think what I need to do is start having several conversation with people. That's what I need to do. I think that's what I should start doing instead of like ODing like I've been doing because honestly, it's not cute. It's not nice. It's not, it's not a look that I want for me or the PGC squad. And I don't want to teach the wrong thing. I really don't. So you know, I'm definitely trying to work on me. And I've been saying it for a while and I've honestly gotten better or whatever. But um, it's just sometimes, y'all, it be hard. And for the people who was watching the prank, I seen somebody come in and was like, oh my God, I can't believe she called the police. Y'all know damn well I ain't called the goddamn police. The only reason why I made it seem like I called the police because I told Tori to leave. And this crazy fool, y'all, Tori is, bro, what I was, y'all, I was dying off that prank. But this crazy fool gonna tell me to leave. I said, oh! You gonna tell a bad bitch? You gonna tell a bad bitch to get out of her own house? So I made it seem like I caught the police, but let's be real. If I caught the police, by the time that prank was over, the police would have been there. Y'all seen the prank I did with Flame on his channel and I caught the police. And what happened? The police showed up, right? So just, you know, ask yourself certain things before y'all comment. Really living my best life on social media and in real life. Like, that's in real life. In real life, all I do is cook turn up play with my cat do videos and party that's it i'm very unproblematic i don't even be with all the bullshit there's no need to be you only live once you could die at a drop of a hat why live with so much hate why wake up and be like today i'm gonna pick on this person or today i'm gonna do that like you know what i'm saying so and with that being said it just lets me know that it's time i just stopped being so abusive uh starting now y'all will see me acting very different in pranks i won't be hitting people as much um I probably still like a dick of nigga a couple of times, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> so just take time to, you know, stick around and see the change. I do apologize if I ever, you know, misinform the youth that's watching me and, you know, make them feel like violence is the way because genuinely y'all for, for, I don't want y'all, I'm a product of my environment, which was violence. But some of y'all ain't even in that type of, y'all not in that environment. So there's no need for y'all to resort to that, you know, that type of lifestyle. But for me, it was always, 
we either fighting or not but there's no i, I would I, it, it's just respect for me at the end of the day all a woman has left is her name and respect literally not love none of that because honestly you can love somebody but once the love is gone niggas will just downright disrespect you but if you respect me it's certain things you will do just because you respect me and vice versa which is why i haven't aired out certain people's laundry because i respect them still yeah yeah so with that being said just love live and be happy but um i don't know i just feel like as a as a person um you know once I hit 100K, shout out to me, I hit 100K on Instagram and TikTok, but once I started evolving, I noticed the change in myself, I noticed the change in my lifestyle, and I just want better for myself. Um, I wanna end this video because honestly, I feel like I kinda address what needs to be addressed. Um, I hope you guys can kinda see things from my point of view. I definitely see things from y'all, so which is why I'm doing the whole 380, or is it 360? 340, 320, 310. Three, three, three hundred. After you guys in my next video, my PGC squad.